Yeah, I think open and relational theology gives a much better model of prayer than most uh, theological traditions because it fits with at least the way I grew up thinking about prayer. Now, there's lots of different kinds of prayer. Some prayers, prayers of thankfulness, there's prayers of meditation, etc. But the one that's the most interesting for most po folks is what we uh, call petitionary prayer, actually asking God to do something. Well, in the classic tradition where God either already foreknew everything or foreknew and foreordained everything in the future, it's kind of weird to pray to ask God to do something because it's already been settled. But in this kind of way of thing, the open and relational uh, idea in which time is moving forward, our prayers can actually make a difference. It's not that our prayers force God to do things, but our prayers actually add more information, change the present and the future in some way, and God can use that in some powerful way because everything's interrelated to make a real difference in the world. So prayers actually make a difference, both to God and to us. Again, it doesn't mean that we, you know, twist God's arm and force God to do things. God's always going to do the loving thing. And if we pray for God to do something unloving, that's going to be an unanswered prayer. But our prayers really do change the kind of possibilities available to God in the world, in the ongoing movement of our lives.